Hello and welcome to the second game of our doubleheader here today and we've got the 19th ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds traveling to take on the 2-4 and four San Diego Toreros. They've had a rough season so far. They started off great. They beat San Diego State 33-23. They beat NCAA uh, a and State, if I can speak correctly, 42-24. And they have lost four straight ball games, all very close, all one-score games leading up to this one against the ranked Thunderbirds of Southern Utah, who have just been absolutely dismantling every single opponent that they faced this season. Closest game was against Sac State, 45 to 27. So uh, we also have the Toreros are going to be switching up their offense for this ball game. It's going to be the triple option attack. And I'm just going to let you know right now, unfortunately, I could not put Xavier Wilson at quarterback. I, I have him at starter in all the formation subs for the Toreros. I have him at starter on the depth chart. This is what head coach Jack Brown wanted me to do for this team. And for some reason, in this game, it just would not bench Daryl Ballard and put Xavier Wilson in at quarterback. And we also have an issue here with, with Owen Gregory taking some snaps away from Nicholas Hall. And he's a crazy play as Prince McCutcheon scoops up a fumble and gets a first down out of it somehow. Also, if you guys did not know, I streamed yesterday twice and they were both successful. So I streamed NCAA Football 05 with some exhibition game between Arizona and Arizona State. And then I also played Arena Football Road to Glory, which was a super fun game to play. We used the Macon Knights, and we took on the Dallas Desperados. And we also played as the Green Bay Blizzard and took on the Arizona Rattlers. So those were some pretty fun games and some really funny <laughs> commentary uh, during that chatted with a bunch of people during the stream so if you haven't go check it out they're down three here for southern utah uh, don't worry the camera does change it took me a little bit to get the camera to change as well for this game i don't know what was going on with it but eventually i did switch it up and here it is i believe we are done seeing the other camera angle and I know I'm using the quarterback right here, but I'm really not. I just I snap the ball and let the computer roll with it. And here is Brandon Lee, the fullback, getting a carry up to the 45-yard line. The offense for the Thunderbirds looks like this. Nicholas Hall, four-star freshman quarterback. Nicky Dimes, he has been just scorching hot lately. And takes he took over the starting quarterback position from Owen Gregory when he was out for a few games and here's Hall on the option first down and more what a spin move up to the 42 yard line of San Diego the rest of the offense is Owen Gregory backup quarterback sophomore sophomore halfback Cameron Matthews sophomore fullback Brandon Lee who leads the team in rushing who is now over 900 yards Jaquan Freeman Prince McCutcheon both at receiver and Brandon Red at guard here is Lee again, running the man over, just picks up a yard. The Torero defense is on DJ Payne on the defensive line, and Boom Johnson on the defensive line as well at defensive end. Payne is the defensive tackle. They have two middle linebackers, Luke Moss and Rob Roy. They combined for 46 tackles so far this season, nine for a loss, as Lee is crushed in the backfield by Boom Johnson. And then in the secondary, Isaac Christ, sophomore corner, and then four-star freshman free safety Demarcus Green and sophomore strong safety Dylan Tong. Jack Brown is in his first year as head coach of the Toreros. And Noah Rigier is in his first year at the helm of the Thunderbirds, who are 19th in the nation right now. And Hall throws this one up deep. It's deflected up in the air and caught. It was a drop frame. But guess what, folks? I have figured out a way to not have drop frames anymore. If you go back and watch the streams, there's zero drop frames in those. And it's also full screen, so we're going to be having that going on here in the FCS Dynasty. So look forward to that one, folks. First and 10 from the 12-yard line. 
Thunderbirds looking to take an early lead here against San Diego. And Nicholas Hall is going to take off up the middle and picks up nine yards. Great run from the freshman who has over 600 yards rushing on the season with six touchdowns. No interceptions on the year as well. 526 yards, 10 touchdowns, zero picks. He has been absolutely phenomenal for this Thunderbirds team. And they try to tight end around here. And that was blown up from the start. Hall loses a few yards back to the four yard line. Third down and two now. I'm actually doing this commentary directly after my stream from last night of arena football. So forgive me if my voice sounds a little tired. And I don't know if they got the first down here or not. And they did, first and goal. So they pick up three yards on third and two from the four. This is an 11 play, 71 yard drive, over three minutes off the clock, closing in on three minutes, 30 seconds. Hall, hot routing a receiver. They might look to pass it here, and Hall is dropped for a loss. DJ Payne, 12 career sacks. So that was just a tackle for a loss because he entered the game with 12 career sacks. He's such a force in the middle of that field. Now second and goal from the three yard line. Thunderbirds looking to take out the entire clock here in the first quarter. And they're gonna go with the reverse to Cameron Matthews. He fumbles the football and it's recovered by San Diego. Oh my goodness. Four minute drive. Results in a fumble at the two. And that, my friends, is Isaac Price on the fourth fumble, the second of the season for him. Third of his career. I did not see who recovered it. We get a chance to see this San Diego offense. Now again, the starting quarterback was supposed to be Xavier Wilson. The game just did not allow it. So we're going to be seeing Daryl Ballard run the triple option attack here. And fullback gets the first down. He's starting fullback. Bo Davis is suspended for the first half of this ball game. So we'll be seeing him in the third quarter. So they are without a mobile quarterback right now and without their star fullback, who is a subscriber player. The toss, Robbie Ballard gets a couple yards on the right side. And you got to watch out for this Thunderbirds defense. It is led by defensive tackle Adam Joseph, defensive end Jericho Stevens, Logan Tyler at middle linebacker, C.J. Moreland, who has definitely improved this season over his freshman year. And they have three-star freshman, free safety, Emmanuel Wise, and strong safety, uh, Bryce King. And that's picked off. C.J. Moreland down to the five-yard line. Oh, my goodness. This second pick of the year, fourth of his career, and there's a clipping on Jericho Stevens right there. But C.J. Moreland, just as I was talking about him, gets a pick. And the Thunderbirds are back in business, folks. Ballard with his 10th pick of the year to just seven touchdowns, his 40th pick of his career. Having a hard time hearing the offense is. Brandon Lee motion to the left side. Hall taking forever and a day to snap the football and it's a halfback option here. And they get back to the line of scrimmage, so a little bit of a trick play there. Gets them zero yards. I didn't even get a chance to <laughs> go over the, the Toreros um, offensive starters here. Or their subscriber players, rather. Because their drive ended so quickly. Second down and ten here for the Thunderbirds. Matthews in motion. And they're going to go option. Hall cuts it back to the inside. Dragged down by Boone Johnson. But he'll pick up five yards. Or close to it. Johnson with just three sacks this season. He had five last year. He also has a safety on the season. Third down and five. Thunderbirds three of three so far on third downs today. And they're going to go with a reverse here. And they do not pick this one up. And that is Luke Moss with a huge tackle for a loss. His sixth of the year. 22nd tackle for loss in his career. That in the first quarter, 0-0. Zero not a whole lot of action. Thunderbirds with a great drive to start the game, but put it on the turf. And now they're attempting a field goal to take the lead. 
Thunderbirds pick to win this game in the Discord pick -em. Oh no, there is an offsides penalty. And that's going to bring up fourth down and two. Make this field goal a little bit easier for the Thunderbirds. But the Discord pick -em, Thunderbirds had 11 votes. San Diego had nine votes. Both teams have just one win in these full broadcast games. Toreros are in trouble here. The Thunderbirds are going for it on fourth and two. Can they pick it up? And they're going to throw it. Hall to the left side, and it is completed out to Jaquan Freeman, who has his eighth catch on the season. Clutch throw from Nicholas Hall, a true freshman. Toreros having a rough time in close games this season. They're trying to turn it around, but the Thunderbirds with 18 plays already to just three for San Diego. And they have got the option playbook right now, and the Thunderbirds keep going with this reverse, and it has not worked for them one time. That'll bring up second and goal from the eight-yard line. Both of these teams love to pound the football down the defender's throats. So expect this game to end very quickly. Because the clock is not going to stop very often. And here they go with the halfback around. And Cameron Matthews finds the end zone this time. His ninth touchdown run of the season. And the Thunderbirds take the lead. That was great blocking on the left side. Nice juke there to get to the outside. Rob Roy couldn't get to him. And the Thunderbirds strike first. Looking to go 7-0 and this season. They already have as many wins this year as they did last year. They're already bowl eligible. San Diego on the verge of not being bowl eligible. At 2-4 and four this season. And last year it was a different story for them. They were able to win the close games and have some really clutch comebacks. But this season... It has all gone in the wrong direction for them. And first year head coach Jack Brown is trying to find the answers. And hopefully we can get Xavier Wilson in the starting role for him in the triple option attack. He is a pretty speedy three-star freshman quarterback. And he would fare a lot better than Daryl Ballard in the run game. And here is the return for the Terreros up to the 25-yard line. And that was number nine a non-subscriber player not sure exactly who that was I'm so used to seeing Doug Lay and Demetrius George on return that was kind of weird here's Soltis the backup court or backup halfback in the carry and Tyler with another tackle for a loss this season that's gonna give him six for the season he has been an absolute monster so far for the Thunderbirds this year and don't mind the uh, camera change. Well, it's not a camera change, but you'll see that I'm using her in here. I didn't actually use her, but I came back into my room and saw that Ballard was still in at quarterback. And I switched Wilson again. I switched everything around. And as you can see, Ballard is still in the game. I don't understand what was going on uh, with the depth chart and formation subs, but it just was not working for me at all. I was super frustrated. But at this point in the game, I, I left the room again, and I never came back until it was over. But I tried everything I could to get the correct quarterback in there at starting spot, but as you can see, it just, it just didn't work. So fourth and 16 for the Toreros here. Offense not looking so good right now with Ballard running the triple option. And here's a nice return up past midfield for the Thunderbirds. Travis Moody, that is the return man from earlier. He is also the starting corner. He is injured on the play. That would be a pretty decent sized loss for the Toreros. They don't have much depth at corner. Ball at the 50-yard line to start this drive. Let's see what Mickey Dimes can do. And they're going to hand it off to Brandon Lee. He did not get much on that. 
And a 15-yard penalty for clipping. That's that's not going to help the Thunderbirds cause right now. That'll back them up to their own 35-yard line. First and 25. Thunderbirds coming out in the shotgun, which they rarely run. See if Hall won't throw the football. No, it's a direct snap to Matthews. He's going to lose a couple more yards here. Backing him up to second down and 27. Not a good spot to be in for a running team. But Hall can throw the pigskin when he wants to. And he'll try to throw it here. Hall, left side, nice completion out to Matthews. Just his fourth catch on the season. That's four consecutive completions for Nicholas Hall. And then to make it third down and 19. So that was a pickup of eight on the previous play. Got to expect him to throw the football. There's a flag here. False start. That's going to back him up even more. And it'll be third down and 24. From their own 36-yard line. After starting the drive out at the 50. Crowd getting into it right now. Trying to get behind their team. They know they're struggling this year. They know this could be a huge turning point in their season. Hall, the throw, left side wide open for the first down. Oh my goodness. Foster, the halfback with the catch and run. That just flipped the field. That was a 28 yard pickup on third down and 24. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> Isaac Price attempting to cover the halfback, the speedy non-subscriber halfback. Huge pickup, first down. Thunderbirds keep it moving. The first half is almost over already, 17 minutes into the stream. And they're going to try to go option here. Hall picks up a couple yards. There's a bunch of defenders in the backfield. And that kind of created a little bit of chaos back there. Travis Moody is out for the game for San Diego. That's pretty tough for them. They do not have any depth at corner. So the number two cornerback might be picked on a little bit now. Second and eight. Option attack. Hall, first down. He pitches it back to Matthews, and he will move the chains. 53 yards rushing for Southern Utah. Looking to go 7-0 this, se this season. Looking for their second Subscriber versus subscriber victory of all time. And looking to keep their undefeated streak alive this season. They've been just absolutely lights out this year. And I think the switch at quarterback uh, has really helped their offense uh, just blow up. They've just been blowing everybody out. I think the closest game was uh, 18 points, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Another decent drive here, over two minutes off the clock. Six plays, 26 yards. And here is Lee, right side, gets the first down. He is absolutely lit up like a Christmas tree by Dylan Tong. Tong with 35 tackles on the season now. Gives him 109 for his career. He is one of two defensive subscriber players with triple digit tackles. Chris Major from South Dakota State. Strong safety is the other. And they're going to go play action here. Hall rolling out left side, throws it up, and then it's caught. He had Prince McCutcheon wide open in the end zone for a touchdown there. Wouldn't have counted anyways. Flipping. My goodness. First down at 25. That's the second clipping call this drive alone. Now at the 30-yard line. First and 25. Cowbells ringing in the stands. I love it. Man in motion to the right side. Prince McCutcheon. Number eight. And they're going to hand it off to Brandon Lee, who's only going to get a couple yards here. And makes it second and 23 from the 28-yard line. A 
I'm hoping to do these full broadcast games live from now on instead of recording my commentary and then uploading after. Oh my goodness, nice run here from Foster who's just had a great drive right now. Picks up 16 yards. Get a 28 yard reception on third and 24 previously. On third down conversions, they are four of five today. It's third and seven. Foster in motion to the backfield. And they're gonna go option. Hall, he's gonna have the first down and a touchdown. Oh, what a tackle to save it. I thought for sure that was a touchdown. Thunderbirds just controlling this block and this game. Hall, touchdown. One yard scamper for the freshman quarterback. His seventh touchdown on the ground this season. He has 17 total touchdowns. No interceptions. He has one fumble on the year. I do not recall if they lost it or not. But if not, then he has zero turnovers with 17 scores. That is just unreal. Webb on for the extra point. And it is now 14 to nothing as we close in on the half. It's really a rough spot here for the Toreros because Darrell Ballard is stuck in there and Xavier Wilson can't get out onto the field. And he definitely presents a better option in the run game, especially for the triple option. And it's just a shame that I was really unable to put him in there for them. But hopefully uh, for the Toreros, Daryl Ballard can make some magic happen and get his team in this game and get on the scoreboard. Here's Doug Lay on the return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. Got to expect them to maybe take a shot down the field here. Got to try to get something going. Southern Utah with 259 total yards. San Diego with just 52. Kind of possession battle. It's clearly been won by Southern Utah so far. They've taken most of the clock away here in the first half. Second down and nine. Clock ticking away here in San Diego, California. Ballard under center. And they're just going to hand it off to the fullback here. Nice spin move. They get the first down up to the 32-yard line and call a timeout. And I'm not sure what they could do here from their own 32-yard line with 16 seconds left on the clock. Ballard has had a rough go of it throwing the football in his career. He does have over 4,000 yards, but just 33 touchdowns to 40 picks. And he'll look to throw it here. Right side, wide open. That's Robbie Ballard, but he has dropped inbounds, and they are forced to call another timeout with 11 seconds left. And you got to get about, let's see, about 30 yards <laughs> if you want to try a field goal. Kickers are not very good in this series so far. Ballard, right side, almost picked off by Bryce King. And that would have been his first of the season. He only had three last year, which I guess is a pretty decent amount. It's not terrible. Seven seconds left. Wilson is in the ball game here, and he's going to throw it up, and he finds his man. That's Demetrius George at the 34-yard line, but the clock ticks away, and we're going into the half with the Thunderbirds on top, 14 to nothing. Maybe the game will realize that Wilson is a starter in every imaginable way possible. And, and they'll actually keep him in here in the second half. But we'll see here in a second, folks. 14-0, number 19 Thunderbirds on top of Pac-10 opponent San Diego. And we will see the Toreros on offense first. So, moment of truth. Will Xavier Wilson be in the ballgame? He's played one snap that I remember, and it was a huge pickup to Demetrius George, who gets his 16th catch on the season. Got him over 400 yards as well. And here's Doug Lay on the return. He had a 23-yard return earlier, 
And this is a pretty decent one as he's breaking tackles up to the 27 yard line. They actually gave him credit for the 28. I like it. I haven't seen much of Logan Tyler at middle linebacker today for the Thunderbirds. And it looks like Daryl Ballard is still in there at quarterback. But they do get Bo Davis, their star fullback, back for this half. And they're going to give it off to him first thing. And he picks up uh, eight yards on the carry up to the 36-yard line. Davis with 136 rushing yards on the season. Three touchdowns, but with the switch to the triple option, expect his numbers to skyrocket here in the final, well, after this game, after the final five games of the season. Second down and two. Logan Tyler is on fire, and Davis falls forward. Does he pick up the first down? No, he does not. Third down and one upcoming for the Toreros. who are looking to get into the end zone for the first time here today in front of their home crowd. Goal line set. And they'll give it up to Davis again. He's got the first down, so three straight carries for the big guy. And it gets them to move the chains. And they get to run a little bit of the clock out. If they can just score here, it's anybody's game. Come out with three backs in the backfield. And they'll keep going to the big guy. It's Bo Davis, but he is dropped for a loss on that one. And that was Young, a non-subscriber cornerback, making a nice tackle for a loss of one. Davis behind Ballard now. with the option right side huge run here and picks up 10 yards Logan Tyler with a massive hit on the halfback Tyler with 62 tackles on the season coming into this game two picks four pass deflections five forced fumbles and two fumbles recovered they're down in inches goal line set here and they give it off to Davis again, but he is stuffed. And that is the big defensive tackle, Adam Joseph, a sophomore, making an impact. His 10th tackle for a loss on the season. And the Toreros are going to punt the football away instead of giving it off to their bruising fullback. Or their bruising halfback, Robbie Ballard. High snap for the punter. And this is a pretty decent kick down to the 11-yard line. Fair catch for the Thunderbirds. Hagen with three punt returns for touchdowns this season. Non-subscriber corner. Thunderbirds just probably content with pounding the rock, running the clock out as much as possible. Again, here is Brandon Lee up to the 15 yard line. He's got 23 yards here today. Over 900 yards rushing on the season. And Cameron Matthews closing in on 500 for the season. All over 600. Second down and six. And they will hand it off to Matthews to the left side, and he'll pick up three yards. Third down and three. Very manageable for this team. They're five of six today on third down. San Diego two of four. Handed off to Brandon Lee right up the gut, and he got that easily. Boom Johnson tracked him down finally, but Lee picks up the first down with ease. And they're going to keep it on the ground. Hall is going to be stuffed, though. That was DJ Payne with his 10th tackle for a loss of the year. At 24 for his career. That'll bring up second down and 12. And that clock is just ticking away. And Hall is dropped for a loss again. Boom Johnson unblocked. 
off of the right edge. Brings up third down and 15. Johnson now with 10 tackles for a loss on the season. He's 19 for his career. Third and 15. Hall looking to throw it probably. He will. Hall rolling around all day. Throws it deep left side and it's incomplete. Green and Price on the coverage. The Latreros defense steps up, gets their offense the ball back. So you can't get a nice return here from Doug Lay on the punt. Webb punts it away. And Lay from his own 34 yard line gets a decent return up to the 38, I believe. 43, excuse me, I was looking at the wrong numbers. In week 10, we have two more subscriber versus subscriber matchups as well. So look forward to that one as Bo Davis fumbles the football. And that is recovered by Southern Utah. Two turnovers for the Toreros here today. But we have six more full broadcast games left on the season. And I'm looking forward to all of them. They should all be pretty decent games. Especially the Pac-10 matchups. They're going to come right down to the wire. The conference title will be up for grabs. Guaranteed. First and 10 from the 38-yard line. Hall. Hands it off to Matthews, who gets to the left side, picks up maybe four yards. Green on the tackle. Two more yards, and Matthew will Matthews will reach 500 for the year. This is one of our less exciting <laughs> full broadcast games just because of the offenses that these two teams run. They like to run the ball a lot. And here's Hall breaking a tackle. But Rob Roy tracks him down. Just one yard on the carry. The crowd trying to stay in it. Thunderbirds, six of eight on third downs today. Foster in motion to the backfield. It off to Brandon Lee, who does not pick it up. He gets dropped at the 31-yard line. And it'll be interesting to see if they go for it again here, like they did earlier on in the ballgame. And they are going to go for it on fourth and two. Goal line set. Hall. Hands it to Lee, who's in the open field, inside the 10-yard line, down to the 5. One of the most exciting plays in the ball game. I don't know what happened to the defense on that side of the field. Oh, my goodness. The Demarcus Green, the freshman free safety, saved the touchdown. Dragged him down at the 5-yard line. Can the defense hold? This is going to be the last play of the third quarter as Lee gets another carry and gets down to the one-yard line. 61 yards for him today. Gets him up over 950 for the year. Get your fours up, folks. It's still a ball game. 14-0. Toreros on top. Or Thunderbirds on top of the Toreros, rather. It's 1.30 in the morning. Don't judge me, all right? I did three hours of live streaming today. Or yesterday. Whatever. <laughs> Second and goal. And they're going to lose a couple yards here. Boom Johnson, another tackle for a loss in the game. And he's got eight tackles here today, folks. Eight tackles for a defensive end. Wow. He's going to bring up third and goal from the four-yard line. Thunderbirds, six of nine today. Lee in motion to the right side. You've got to expect a pass here. And Hall is going to be dry. He pitches it back somehow to Brandon Lee. And there is a personal foul face mask. 
That's going to give the Thunderbirds a first and goal. Wow. Jack Brown arguing with the referee on the sideline. That's not really going to help you here, man. A lot of frustration on that sideline. You can just see it. And you can hear it in the crowd. Crowd going wild again now. Trying to cheer their team on. And Lee dropped before he could reach the end zone. So the defense fighting right now to keep them out. They're as close as they can get to the end zone. I would just give it off to Lee right up the middle. Oh my goodness. Man in motion. Nobody can hear the play. This could be good news for San Diego. Some confusion. And they're going to hand it off to Foster again on a sweep and he loses a few more yards. That'll bring a third and goal from the four yard line. And the Taveros hold them off again. Seventy percent on third downs today. Von Freeman is on fire on the left side. They're going to hand it off to Lee, and he is stuffed. He got nothing on that. DJ Payne on the tackle. And the Toreros hold. The Thunderbirds have to settle for a field goal attempt. And the kick is up and good from Webb, so it's 17 to nothing after an 11 play drive. Took three and a half minutes off the clock. Man, they are just milking it here today. Barrows looking for answers. They're gonna have to throw the football now. Which their playbook is the option right now, and it's just not it's not built for coming from behind. Webb set to kick it off. For the Thunderbirds! Doug Lay on another return today, and he is dropped at the 21 yard line. If you guys haven't checked out the streams from yesterday yet, go ahead and check them out. They were super fun. Ballard under center. Keep it on the ground, surprisingly, and Bo Davis with a huge run here, running people over, picks up 18 yards. And I, you gotta say, you know, if they had him in the first half, I, I think they would have been a little bit better off. Man, trying to get into it. They're gonna toss this out. To Soltis, and he's going to uh, be taken down by the face mask. And a little pesky drop frame right there that we will no longer be seeing after week nine, folks. I'm so excited for that. That has been the most frustrating thing on this entire channel out of my 670 ish videos that I have. Here's Davis. He's going to be dropped for a huge loss here. Back in his own 46-yard line. Just 82 yards of offense today. And the Toreros usually average over 500. Going to bring up second and 14. Thera Ballard is on player. I'm not sure... What good is really going to do them as he is sacked by Logan Tyler. His third sack of the season. No, that's not his third sack of the season. Don't forget about his career stats because uh, we switched one of the freshman players' names from year one. So just forget about any career stat that you see of his. That was his first sack of his career right there. Looking to throw it, try to throw it again. Deep shot left side, incomplete. Intended for Doug Lay. <coughs> That's going to bring up fourth down and 21. And the crowd's letting him hear it now. Daryl Ballard is just 
is not the answer at quarterback for the Toreros this season. He has had a really rough time completing passes. And the Toreros going to pump the football away. I guess content with losing the game. And back to return is Foster. Or Hagen, excuse me. And they'll get it up to the 27-yard line. Thunderbirds is going to come out and run the clock out. And they're actually at the 22, not the 27. My goodness, I should go to bed. Wow. See what I do for you guys? I'm doing a full broadcast recording at 1.30 in the morning. I love you guys. Man in motion to the right side, and they are going to hand it off to Matthews, who gets maybe a yard on the play. And I believe Boom Johnson just reached 10 tackles today at the defensive end position. That's unreal. Second and nine. Closing in on two minutes left in the ballgame. Still time for the Toreros to score, though. You don't like to see shutouts. And that's going to be a first down right there. My goodness. We've seen some ugly penalties here today. That was Boom Johnson, I believe. There's two players with the last name Johnson on this defense. It could have been the other one. Jack Brown furious on the sideline. And he's going to wonder why his uh, quarterback, Xavier Wilson, is not the starter. Which I'm still wondering it myself, sir. I tried everything I could. I believe the Thunderbirds can just run the clock out here without getting a first down. I could be wrong. They might have to get one more. And there's Lee up the middle, and he's going to pick up eight yards up that gut. He's got 72 yards today. That'll bring up second down and two. Toreros do have three timeouts left, but I, I don't know if they're going to be calling them here at the end of the ballgame. Johnson on fire. He has been <laughs> pretty much the only bright spot for the Toreros today. There's a carry for Matthews. He runs a man over, picks up a yard, and he now has 500 rushing yards on the season with that carry. That'll bring up third down and one. And they'll have to get the first down here to run the clock out all the way. Boom Johnson played the game for the Guerreros. 11 tackles, 3 for loss, and a fumble recovery. Logan Tyler, player of the game for the Thunderbirds. Which we've seen that like all season long. The guy's been everywhere. Just hitting everybody, forcing fumbles, recovering them, intercepting passes. There's a first down for Brandon Lee. Big run inside Torero territory. He's up to 973 on the season. As he reaches 80 for the ball game. I want to thank you guys for sticking around. If you're still here from the start of the stream, appreciate you guys. Go ahead and hit that like button. The more likes the video gets, the better chance it has uh, being seen by non subscribers. Thunderbirds in the shotgun here. They do have to snap it one more time, and they're going to give it up to Matthews gets nothing on that run that is the final folks Thunderbirds come in to San Diego and get a 17 to nothing shutout they improved to 7 and 0 on the season they have more wins this year than they did all last year already Guerrero's drop to 2 and 5 they have five games left they got to win four of them to get to a bowl game. Will they be the first team of ours, of our 12 schools, to not reach a bowl game? Stick around and find out, folks. Big time win for the Thunderbirds. 243 yards of offense today, 155 on the ground, 88 through the air. Hall, 6 of 7 today. Some clutch first downs on third and long situations. Three, uh, three turnovers in the ball game. A couple fumbles and a pick from Daryl Ballard. And a few penalties here for the Toreros. Six for the Thunderbirds. 17 minutes, 50 seconds off the clock from the Thunderbirds. Outrageous time of possession numbers. Just absolutely insane. 
Xavier Wilson, 128 yards. Man, I'm not sure who they face next. I'm hoping that it's a non-subscriber team so that we can get Wilson in there and see what this team can actually be capable of with the right people in the right positions. Bo Davis did really good when he actually came into the ballgame in the second half. Cost the team a little bit by being suspended in the first half. A couple drops today, one for Doug Lay. He also had a pancake. Rick Wall, two pancakes today. No sacks allowed. He gives him 28 pancakes on the season. 82 for his career. I did post all of the stats for every subscriber player in the Discord community. So if you want to see your stats and you're not in the Discord community, go ahead and get in there. Check them out. But outstanding performance today from the Thunderbirds defense. And outstanding performance from Boom Johnson on the Toreros. Just 11 tackles. He had 13 coming into the game. He almost doubled his tackle totals for the season. All 5 of 6 today, 82 yards. Gregory had a completion as well at the start of the ball game. Lee with 80 yards. Matthews 25. Hall with 23. Matthews and Hall both with touchdowns. Two fumbles today for Matthews. Gives him three on the season and ten for his career. Wolf. That's that's not going to be good for the uh, Elite Football League scouts. I'm letting you know right now, buddy. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys take a look at the rest of these stats. Oh, actually, eh, I'll talk for another minute. Why not? Why not? It's because I love you guys so much. But we are almost to 100 community members on Discord. Once we get to 100 community members, I will do a face reveal. I know that's been requested before. And I'm going to be streaming quite a bit more on the channel. Did two streams yesterday and got two subscribers because of the streams. And I'm hungry, man. I want to get to a thousand subs. I need it. I need something to go right in my life. San Diego's next ball game. Oh, unfortunately, they're going to be traveling to take on the now 24th ranked UC Davis Aggies. Another subscriber versus subscriber matchup. But after that, it's non subscriber teams. So, in Utah's next game, they travel to take on the Northern Colorado Bears in week 11. That'll be a fun one. And our next games, which will be out tomorrow, North Dakota State takes on Sam Houston State, and Jacksonville takes on Elkhorn State. I will see you guys with those ones tomorrow. Until then, take it easy, guys.